In this problem, the first thing you could do is write down the, the uh, force equation as it relates to pressure. So in this case, we have df is equal to function py. And that means that the pressure uh, is a function of y as we can predict for the water depth. Uh, L would be the length of the window. And then dy would be um, the little infinitesimal height below the water that uh, the window goes. And then L times Y, of course, would be the area. So this is basically um, dA. Um, one thing to note here is that dY is a infinitesimal piece of the area. It has nothing to do with the depth per se, but we will know that uh, pressure does relate to the depth here. So uh, let's also now figure out how we can get PY. So we use the equation dP is equal to negative rho g dy. Um, you will take the integral in order to get, you know, from zero pressure to a pressure, you will go a depth of zero to y. So that will give you the pressure in terms of depth y. Now, the thing is, the two y's don't necessarily correlate. And this is because the window, as we've seen from the problem, starts out uh, one meter below the surface anyway. So these aren't going to be the same y, and we should definitely uh, realize that. Um, that being the case, let's go ahead and first solve for dp in terms of y, and then we'll go ahead and, and figure out what each one means. So for now, let me go ahead and put um, a prime here. So we at least have that differentiation down. P is equal to negative rho g because the density of water does not change with depth and g does not change with uh, depth or it's pretty negligible anyway. And we're gonna have from zero to y prime dy, which the simple solution then becomes negative rho g y prime. So this is the function of P with respect to that y prime, which the prime is also gonna carry up here since we're now relabeling y as y prime. So an infinitesimal piece of the force is gonna be the pressure at a particular spot multiplied by the length of the window at a certain depth, multiplied by a little tiny area uh, height-wise below the, below the water. Now to try to relate y prime and dy. So this takes just a little bit of thought here. Um, for, a, for the pressure, the greater the y, the deeper it is. So that means that the greater the pressure is. Um, for dy, the greater the y, the more area there is for the window. So they're inherently different in that aspect. But uh, as we've realized from this problem anyways, it's a function of a negative. So that means y is obviously gonna be positive going up, negative going down. So obviously this is all accounting for that. Y is gonna be negative, that's gonna increase the pressure. In this case, uh, dy is relating to a positive value of y because area has to be a positive value of y anyways. So the transformation really is, that, is gonna be that y is equal to negative y prime. Um, so if we're gonna do that transformation, we're gonna to have to carry that negative over in this function. So when we say that df is equal to, and now the function of p y prime is, is negative rho g y prime l dy, what we really mean to say is that it's positive y non prime, okay? And that will basically make the two y's equal. So let's go ahead and take a, uh, sorry, integration over all force. So from zero to F um, from a depth of, I guess, from an area from one meter below the surface of the water to two meters below the surface of the water. Um, and it's gonna be negative. So from here, we go ahead and take rho gl out, leaving only a function of y dy. 
let's carry up on of, up here. So F is equal to rho G L Y squared over two from negative one to negative two depth. And that's gonna come out to be rho G L over two, four minus one. And then this all becomes positive three halves rho G L. And that's the force function for uh, the window at a particular depth. Now, um, we're going to uh, plug in the numbers and then we can finally solve for the problem here. So in this case, uh, we'll make the density of water 1000 kilograms per meters cubed. We'll make the gravitational uh, factor or the gravitational field 9.8 meters per second squared. And the length of the window ends up as the problem states three meters. So now we have plugging all this in together, we're going to get 44,000 newtons for the final force on that window.